This informational message comes from saving the lives of our own. Motion Picture Hospital. Thank you. Thank you. On behalf of the residents of the long-term care at the Motion Picture and Television Fund campus, we are here to fight the closure decision that the MPTF board has leveled on our loved ones and their friends and neighbors. On February 21st, 2009, hundreds of concerned entertainment industry members and healthcare workers fighting to save the Motion Picture Television Fund's hospital and long-term care units raised signs and their voices on the streets of Beverly Hills while some of the entertainment industry's biggest names arrived in limousines to attend the NPTF's annual Night Before fundraiser at the famed Beverly Hills Hotel. You know, I tell you, the thing I don't understand is why there aren't more people like me here. And I don't understand why they're not here. Why Tom Hanks and Brad Pitt. Why aren't they here? What, are they all in that party over there? I mean, why couldn't they stop here on the way to the party and, uh, and help us out? Because I think this is important to everybody. This person gave $36 million to keep it alive. This person gave $12 million. I'm not mentioning names, but they did, and they were very generous. But why is it that we're broke now? I hope that they just have a question, that what they're hearing from the board is not the real story, that the real story are the 130 plus elderly and infirm residents who are being escorted out, shown the door, evicted, because they are the easiest to get out of the way. Inside the event, which raised $5.5 million, Jeffrey Katzenberg and Michael Douglas stuck to MPTF talking points about failing investments and decreased charitable giving. Our uh, annuity that we use to support our enterprise, like all, uh, declined in its value. Uh, our income has gone down. Our charitable fundraising has come down. It'll get resolved in a way that'll make everybody happy, but, but, but it, we're certainly not happy that we have to do it. We are going to ensure that they are taken care of in the first class manner that uh, they've become accustomed to. So many people tonight who are in there raising funds for the Motion Picture Television Fund are very kind-hearted, generous people, as David said. And I think a lot of them don't really know what this means. We all have parents, we all get old, we all age, we know what we're dealing with. There, there's no excuse, there is no way of explaining it. This is unconscionable, it's abhorrent, and it cannot happen. I have a way to let them stay. I have two questions. What goes next? And how do we explain this to our kids? What do I say to my, our daughter when I say, well, we used to take care of our own. Sorry you missed the boat, honey. And, and sorry you have to take care of us. We want them to be aware of what we care of all these elderly, because they are our family. Even though we, are, we have our own family, we have another family on our workplace. If I could walk into the affair tonight, I would ask, I thank them for their contributions, but please open their heart to keep our long-term care and hospital open continually for the rest of everybody's natural life. Find the way to let them stay. You can make a difference, make your voice heard, and do your part to save the lives of our own. Someday, they will be you. Find out what you can do for yourselves and those you love at www.savingthelivesofourown.org.